Hey everybody, this is our next video focusing on Mod 5 Lesson 7 homework. So in number one, it asks you, the shaded unit fractions have been decomposed into smaller units. Express the equivalent fractions in a number sentence using multiplication. The first one has been done for you. So they show you this tape diagram and they want to know what fraction was first. So you look at the bold line down the middle and we can see that one half was first. And then they decomposed it, they broke it down into a different fraction and if I count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total boxes now and four of them are shaded. So when it comes time to write my number sentence, I look at my tape diagram with the labels as a story. The first fraction in the beginning of the story was one half equals, and then in the middle of the story we changed the fraction. So I have one half times something got us to four eighths at the end of the story. So what got us there? One times what equals four? And I know one times four equals four. And whatever you do on the top, you have to do on the bottom in multiplication with fractions. So I'm going to put it in the bottom as well. And there's my number sentence. In number two, it's very similar, except the only difference is they have to draw um, the lines to decompose the fraction. So if we look at the directions for number two, decompose the shaded fractions into smaller units using the area models. Express the equivalent fraction in a number sentence using multiplication. So if I look, same thing, beginning of the story, we see one third. I'm going to change it by drawing a line in the middle. And my new fraction, I have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, and two of them are shaded. So when I go and to write my sentence, I started with one third in my story and then I changed it. So I'm going to do one third times something. And then at the end of the story, I had two sixths. So one times what equals two? And I know one times two equals two. And whatever you do on the top, you have to do on the bottom. So I put two on the bottom as well. And I know it's right because three times two is six and one times two is two. So it is equivalent. The back of the homework involves the same exact steps, except they're going to tell the students what they have to start with and how they have to break it up, but the writing of the sentence is the same steps. 